there I go again <laughs> so welcome back to my uh, second part of my uh, video tutorial on all right on this one I'm going to flash the uh, the topic okay the academic research project defense questions and tips on how to answer them okay so again this is uh, uh, the part of uh, or the finale of the uh, uh, activities of uh, my students in their research papering okay so I guess uh, they are already I have done the first part of this video tutorial so I guess uh, they are now aware of uh, the 10 questions that I will be uh, asking for them okay so uh, before I proceed I would like to ask two questions to my students oh by the way I am Mr. Vicente Revolta from the Smolinias West National High School and uh, I am teaching English subject in grade 10 so once again research papering is one of the uh, requirements or of the topics in grade 10 English okay so uh, I have uh, required my students to conduct a study to have their research, pa uh, research paper and uh, of course uh, at the final stage of their um, process uh, they're going to have their final defense all right so these are my questions to my dear students sabi nga sa Tagalog manunood o magmumoving up <laughs> okay so it's funny but then there is a serious side of uh, that question okay so I know only a grade 10 students and graduating students are are aware or do know okay the meaning of this uh, questions okay so question number two is uh, everybody is aware that uh, uh, the deputy is suggesting uh, school authorities not to uh, let their students wear toga dur during uh, moving up and graduation day so it would be supply my question is to my students uh, Ikaw ba ay magsusuot ng sablay o sasablay ka? <laughs> Sana hindi sumablay, no? So, I hope you're going to wear sablay during your moving up. Okay, so, let's proceed. Alright, so, let's have the, the 11th question. Masaan na kaya yung 11th question na yan? Kailangan kong hanapin pa. Natabunan na yata. Okay, so, the, there you go. All right, the, the 11th question. How do your findings compare with other research in this field? Okay, so you are not going to compare some related studies, okay, uh, to your study. Okay, and then uh, uh, compare their findings to your findings, list down their, or uh, list down the, uh, uh, similarities and differences okay so the best thing that you're going to highlight is uh, do both uh, studies okay bridge the gap okay <laughs> so that is uh, always the purpose of having a research to bridge the gap okay so that's it so explain how the findings of other researchers only serve to complement but not to invalidate your research okay so sometimes uh, uh, we have this what we call comparison and contrast so we may we can learn from others you know others studies and uh, uh, we can uh, improve our outputs okay uh, by uh, comparing others output to ours okay so again uh, you must have uh, the knowledge on uh, on how to compare by the way the purpose of uh, of your review of related literature is that you can have uh, ideas on uh, 
on the uh, what do you call that one on others uh, studies that is related to your study so you can have uh, comparison okay to both studies okay now next the twelfth question okay comment on uh, comment on and justify your research methodology this is uh, common to researchers about methodology so you must have sound or you must have a sound knowledge of your chapter 3 so explain your research methodology to them and uh, the reason behind your choice of that method okay so your ability to justify your sample size and technique will be highly rewarded here so you're going to tell the panelists okay and your classmates are watching you on your defense day that uh, what method okay have you used or what appropriate method have you used in the gathering the data okay or let's say how did you uh, how did you conduct your research okay uh, in order for you to arrive at a certain result okay so that's it so you must have to be familiar with your methodology next okay number 13 why choose this method okay so you should be able to explain the reasons behind your choice of method mm -hmm. I have told you the different types of methods that are applicable in research paper so I know you you know all of them and you can recall all of them and their usage and differences so defend your research methodology and this is not as difficult as it may seem so just quote some studies where this method have been used in the past to support the reason behind your choice of method that's why I always say it should be the method that you are going to use should be standardized and tested already so if you were listening to me during our class discussion on the topic about research papering then you know how to answer it how to ace it okay so next question question number 14 in light of your discoveries or findings what are your recommendations so this recommendation will uh, be coming from you and your group mates so you must have to talk with the with each other and uh, arrive at a certain uh, recommendation okay so recommendations are indispensable in each study Okay. If you have survived the academic research process up to the point where you are asked this question, then you won't have any problem when you are asked to reveal your recommendations. So after all, the recommendations uh, are already there in your uh, hard copy or let's say output. Okay, all you have to do is to uh, master it. Okay, next question number fifteen: Where did you go wrong? In every study, there are always, or let's say, there is always uh, lacking, or there are errors, maybe. Okay, so it's it's normal for for us to uh, experience some mistakes, or let's say, some lacking. Uh, you know. Okay, so you must avoid exposing your weak point. So you must have to stress. Okay, stress your weakness i mean your strength in that research <laughs> sorry so you can point out all these mistakes like grammatical errors and typographic uh, typograph typo typographies but do not ever pick a hole in your method or statistics okay mm, so <laughs> just cover it okay just like what uh, it says uh, grammatical errors and typographic are typogra typographical errors should be uh, exposed maybe okay uh, avoid exposing the weak points in your research so take note of that okay you might be in a hot seat if you're going to expose the uh, weak points of uh, the methodology and everything okay okay question number 16 based on your findings what areas will you suggest for future research or research the best way to get this is to identify the knowledge gaps still existing with the area of your study if your objective or if your purpose is not met 
okay, is still uh, the the gap that you are supposed to bridge or to solve, okay, then you are going to uh, suggest some solutions to your future or to your, to our future researchers that are planning to have uh, a study okay of course that study should be related to your study also so this knowledge gap should already be obvious to your to you during the research process okay next so we have this uh, question number 17 what is the practicability of your research this question may be a bit tricky because the, the research are mostly in the form of uh, abstracts okay however you should try to try your best to be realistic here relate your study to current trends in your environment okay schools economy churches and etc use relevant examples and illustrations and illustrations okay these are uh, things that will score you good point uh, when you are having your uh, final defense so just focus on uh, or let's say relate it to the current trends okay that uh, are happening okay or current issues maybe okay since all of your studies are somewhat related with the school environment so you must have to focus on, in, uh, focus on those current issues okay so try to relate it next number 18 mm -hmm. how would you summarize your study to a practitioner in a few in a few sentences just summarize the technical importance of your research okay so I know you know this already it's self-explanatory okay so you focus on the significance of your study your capacity to pass on specialist data from the investigation will score you great okay next what would you change if you were to conduct this study again are you going to conduct the study again okay so again please be careful in answering this sometimes defense question or defense question are asked to trap you in exposing the weaknesses of your research okay the question is meant to point you towards the weaknesses in your research so please just do the same thing i ask you to do in question number six so don't focus on the weak points okay or the weaknesses of your research okay so just focus on so the answer is clear now okay do not <laughs> conduct that study again all you have to do is to uh, focus on the strength of your study okay next okay what is your measurement is uh, what is your measurement instrument this question is simply an inquiry about your data collection method for the study okay here you're going to state uh, if questionnaires were distributed uh, distributed or data was gotten from secondary sources of course uh, you cannot have uh, the data if you have this survey questionnaire whatsoever okay so this is your instrument on getting the uh, the data from your respondents okay so you have to expand on that next okay number 21 what are your research variables so you need to explain your variable or variables to convince them that you are on point so you need to identify these variables and know their definition as well as to uh, ace your defense as well as to ace your defense okay there are two types of variables okay that i uh, i have discussed already so just start, look at your notebooks uh, i don't want to expound it in here so let's just uh, uh anyway i am just pointing out on how to uh, answer the questions Okay, uh, properly or let's say I'm going I'm giving you tips on how to answer this question properly and uh, you know okay now let's have the question number 22 what are your research questions in this question you should uh, you should also watch out for this other questions how or how did your research questions emerged 
or emerge? Why are your research questions interesting or important? These are something like easy questions. So all you have to do is to uh, know the know how to reason out, and especially because the final difference would be the medium of uh, language is English. I know you have all the ideas, but you must have to uh, practice speaking in, in English. Okay. Okay. So what do you plan? Question number 23. What do you plan to do with your research project after graduation? Oh my God. So after moving up, suggest that you want to make your research available online for future researchers or as a part of an online publication is uh, always a very impressive idea okay although you have no plan of doing this just 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 a plan so if in case this question will be drawn out from the box okay uh, please okay answer it well okay next number 24 what source of data was employed for the study okay you have to state the sources you got the data from okay in general you have to state whether data was gotten from primary source or secondary source or both you can further convince the committee members by uh, discoursing on literature reviewed for the study both theoretical and empirical okay so there are two types of uh, studies that are from others theory and from others experiment that is empirical okay it's tested already okay next so you must have to consult with uh, consult your RRLS review of related literature and studies okay question number 25 what theories or theoretical framework is your study based on hmm so you, we, we have made a diagram on this one so uh, never you go for your research project depends without a knowledge of at least two relevant theories okay that relate to your study for example the impact of motivation on employee productivity will be based on Maslow's theory and other theories of motivation uh -huh. so I know you are not familiar really well, so maybe some of you are fa familiar with uh, Maslow, okay? So you must have to paste or relate or link or connect, okay, your 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 study, okay, or your theoretical framework or theories with some uh, philosophers or let's say researchers, maybe, okay? So again, you must have all the uh, linkages. You must you must uh, have sabi nga doon, no? at least two okay so i know uh, you just try to research on uh, maslow's uh, theory there are plenty of theory theories of uh, maslow next question number 26 how would you relate your findings to existing theories on the study okay so relate it to the existing theories on the study it is wise to read about how your research relates with existing theories in your study you should know existing theories in the subject matter as well as empirical studies too so you must be a wide reader okay try to search some uh, theories that are related to your study your ability to link your findings to previous research studies will go a long way in validating your study so again it is very important your review of related literature compare so you you can uh, 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 what do you call this one you can uh, uh, justify everything okay in your research paper because you have this uh, tested uh, and uh, validated uh, uh, study okay or study results next number 27 how has your thinking changed as a result of your project mm -hmm. so this is about personal okay you have to be very careful in answering this question because you must give tangible re reasons for any change in opinion you may make about the research changed 
during the course of the study. So be very careful when answering such academic research project defense question that may invalidate your research. Well, if your research is invalidate, you are going to repeat, okay? You're going to, the worst is you're going to change your topic. So it's gonna be another long a process of research papering. Okay, next, number 28. What recommendation do you have for future research? All right, so again, it's again, a recommendation. This question is taking you to identify areas that you think may need more research. Sometimes uh, uh, you may uh, realize that there's something part of your research or, or, or of your study should be uh, studied by by uh, future researchers. <laughs> so this is easily done by identifying issues around uh, or around you that are not yet uh, researched and highlighting them out as filled with prospects for future research. So this must be included or must be uh, written, okay, in your uh, recommendation part of your research paper. Next number 29, what is the scope of the study? Hmm, it's so easy, okay? So I know you know the answer for this one, okay? So state the delimitation of the study in brief. This could be date or geography or both, it depends, okay? So you can do it. I know you can uh, ace this question. Next, number 30, what question or questions do you have for the community or the committee, I mean? So this is an opportunity to, to inter interact with your committee members or to the panelists, okay? Or to the person who contributed to the success of your uh, research, okay? And ask some constructive questions. Do not ask silly or too difficult questions as the goal should be to make the committee or the panelists, okay, members feel as the judges. So it will go a long way in showing that you are a brilliant and confident. Okay, so you must have to stay strong. You must have to tell them that you are uh, knowledgeable enough, okay, that you mastered your research paper. Okay, so that's it. And of course, since you are brilliant, you are someone knowledgeable, so show your confidence. Okay, I think this is the last one. So do you have any co closing statements or comments? Mm. So when you're finally asked if you have any closing question, you can now be assured that there may not be uh, any further questions so you can relax and use this <laughs> opportunity to thank members of your committee. Okay, so thank those people uh, uh, that uh, uh, provided the uh, that provided, let's say, contributed some uh, things that would make your research successful. So tell them you appreciate all the valuable lessons you have learned from them over time and that you will implement all the important suggestions made and uh, make all necessary corrections. All right. Okay, so these are all the 31 questions and uh, I am not going to I guess there are four, four or five of the uh, uh, questions, uh, of the 31 questions that I will not be uh, uh, including, I, uh, that I will not be, that it will not be included in the, in the box, okay? So I'm going to read them out, okay? Which, uh, just like this one, okay? Do you have any closing statements? So we, we will just uh, try to focus on the, result or about your research paper okay okay so again I hope you are going to do well so I have uh, prepared this video tutorial for you to uh, have an idea of those questions that uh, will be uh, asked on your final defense so I guess it will not uh, well it's it's part of being a student to uh, you know to be uh, to be having a uh, 
hectic schedule, especially, uh, especially during this year end or the school year end. Okay, so <laughs> okay, so uh, that's it for this day. That's it for this video tutorial. So I guess it's over. And uh, what's it once and for all? What what's it again and again? So you can. Uh, uh, be familiarized with these uh, tips and questions all right so again so these are my uh, or oh, this is my uh, reference on this uh, uh, 31 tips of uh, questions and uh, on how to answer them okay in uh, a final defense okay so that's it for this day goodbye and uh, study harder bye, bye so once again i am mr vicente Ribota signing off